Over here you see a picture of a hard drive. We have one of these in our computer. Doesn't matter the brand. They all basically do the same thing. And we trust these things. Every day we record music. We take pictures. We have personal documents. You know, whatever you do. But this stores all your information and you really never think about it. What happens if this drive goes bad? If I don't have a backup of my stuff, is there any way of getting your data back? And if there is, how much is it going to cost? Now I can tell you, to back up your stuff could cost you 30 bucks with an application I'm going to show you. Now to take it to a place to get your drive recovered could cost you from a couple of hundred dollars to a couple of thousand dollars. Now you see, backing up is very important for me. I work with a lot of audio and it would really suck if my audio drive goes bad. And if it does, then guess what? I have a backup. Now, let me show you the inside of a hard drive. Over here, we have a picture. And as you can see, it kind of looks like a turntable. You have your platter, which is the disc. You have the copper wire, the actuator arm, just like a turntable. You see this arm, it, it's constantly moving. Left, right, left, right, really, really quick. And the platter, spinning very fast so eventually it wears out just goes bad and if you didn't back up none of your stuff then uh you have to take it to professionals now one thing never open a drive in your home you need dust free environment and i've seen a couple of people where they transform their bathroom into the dust free environment and they're doing data recovery from their restroom which it's kind of funny but i guess it works let me show you the application now like i said this application is not free second copy I really haven't messed with this application. Usually I do my backups manually, but the problem is I don't always do it. So I had to find something that will do it for you. So let's say every time you power down your computer, this application is automatically gonna start backing up whatever folder you told it to back up. Let me just show you guys what I'm talking about. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go to file. We're gonna go to new profile. Next. And now it's looking for source folder. So we're gonna look, let's say, my Pro Tools files. So right here, I got all my Pro Tools sessions. I'm gonna select next and destination folder. I'm gonna send the backup to my network drive. Hopefully it wouldn't have a problem sending it there. So here we go. Let's see what we have here. I have a couple of things in there. I may have to create a new folder. So yes, yeah, let's do that. So I'm gonna call this Pro Tools Back. That's what I'm gonna call it. Hit OK, and I'm gonna just select Next. And look, I have a couple options here. Every few hours, every few minutes, once a day. You know what, let's do it once a day. You can set your time, 6 a.m. See, I'm a person that really doesn't shut their computer off. Over here, you also have run at startup or at shutdown. You know what? I'm going to select manual and I'm going to keep it at shutdown. And over here, you have don't run on these days. You know what? I don't care. I want it to run every day. And I'm going to call this Pro Tools Backup. It's asking for a profile name. Finish. And I'm going to right click, run profile. Well, there we go. It's actually transferring to my network drive. I don't really need to run this because I have a backup of the Pro Tools files already. I'm just really showing you how to do this. I backed up everything on DVDs, but it's always good to have multiple backups. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's a little bit of green, like a percent or two already. It's definitely working. This application is very useful, and I'm really thinking about purchasing this. And one thing I've learned, trusting a hard drive is a risky thing. I've seen drives in the morning that work, and when you turn on the computer later on in the afternoon, the hard drive is clicking, something went wrong. Having a little application like this is pretty cool. And look, guys, there's probably freeware versions out there also. I really haven't looked for an alternative out there, but I'm pretty sure there is. So I'm gonna let this backup continue. But anyway, guys, I hope you really enjoyed this video. If you have a question, if I missed anything, post in the bottom. And for you Mac guys, I really didn't look into it for the Mac. I don't know if this program is compatible with the Mac. You guys will have to definitely search on the internet. But if you want me to do it, I do have a Mac around here and I'll be more than happy to show you guys an application that will do the same. So just let me know in the comments below. All right, guys, this is Ray and I'm out of here. Later.